There's a new AI powered video creation tool that released a couple of months ago, and they hired me to create a promotional video for them. But what do I actually think of Creative Fuel? Is it worth your money? And how does it compare to the big dog in the ring, vidIQ? There's two main ways that I use a third party tool to help me with my video creation. And that is idea generation, first of all, and then metadata, which is like tags and titles and stuff. So the question is, how does Creative Fuel fill these needs? Well, first things first, we have to talk about price. Creative Fuel is a lot cheaper when compared to vidIQ. You get every feature of the tool except for data export with their Blaze plan, which costs $6.58 per month. Or if you want data export or clearance for up to 10 channels, you can get their Inferno plan, which costs $16.58 per month. But honestly, nobody except for very select few creators are gonna need this much. In comparison, vidIQ's cheapest and only option for subscription is their boost plan, which costs $16.58 per month. So huge difference there. Both tools have a seven day free trial, which you can get if you go through the link that I have in my description below. And I highly recommend that you do and you try them both out because vidIQ has a few more things, well actually a lot more things, but Creative Fuel does a couple of things better. So getting experience with both of them could be a really good idea. Let's start with idea generation. Creative Fuel is a web extension, so it integrates directly into YouTube. You don't need to open a separate site, an external site at all. On the main YouTube page, you'll notice these little fire emblems next to video titles. If I click through this, it will reimagine that video to fit the niche of my channel, which is pretty cool. I've been playing around with this more lately, and I've gotta say, I'm getting some pretty good results. Now, if you go into YouTube Studio, here's where you'll find like the bulk of Creative Fuels features. The Ideas tab is a place where you can store any video idea that you come up with. Creative Fuel will then rate the video topic on a scale of 1 to 10, taking into account its relevance to your niche, the emotional appeal of it, and its view potential. So if you look over here, all of these topics that I've come up with have been pretty good, but if I type in something super random like the best aquarium for goldfish, it's gonna let me know that this is just not a good video topic for my channel. Now if you come in here, and you don't already have a video topic in mind, you can open something called the idea engine, which will bring up four options. The first is a freestyle mode, which allows the AI to come up with whatever it wants and whatever it thinks will work the best. The reimagine option takes a look at a number of your competitors or similar channels on YouTube and allows you to generate ideas based off of videos that they've made that are performing well for them. Basically, this is just a standalone version of the watch page reimagine tool. It's just a little bit more polished. Then you can have the AI produce ideas guided by a proven viral video structure by choosing a topic or even a type of viral video template that you want to replicate. These are title structures, themes, video topics that have been proven over the course of many years of YouTube to catch viewers' attention. And I think this is pretty cool. And finally, the fourth option is to generate new video ideas based on comments from your previous videos. If people have a recurring question or suggestion from your previous videos, this tool will create a video topic specifically designed to answer that question or act on those suggestions. That said, this option is pretty limited by the size of your audience because if there's not enough comments to analyze, the thing that you're gonna get out of the artificial intelligence is not necessarily gonna be the most accurate. I do like the way that Creative Fuel tackles idea generation, but there's one thing that I'm really, really missing from vidIQ, and that's their keyword research tool. If you've watched any of my previous videos on vidIQ, you'll know that I use their keyword research tool all the time to come up with topics for my videos, and it's super effective. It allows me to search up different pieces of camera gear or different questions and see what kind of internet traffic is coming to those things and how much competition I'll have if I create a video on them. I appreciate AI suggestions that Creative Fuel gives, I appreciate the AI suggestions that vidIQ gives, but when it comes down to it, it's hard for me to just blanket trust that stuff. I prefer to look at hard data. And that is what keyword research gives me, and that's something that I'm just really, really missing with Creative Fuel. So overall, while a lot of the stuff is pretty impressive and keeps right in line with vidIQ's other features, I've gotta give Creative Fuel a six out of 10 when it comes to idea generation because it's missing that keyword research tool that I used 
every time I create a video. So I think that's only fair. Coming up with an idea is one thing, but creating a video that everybody actually wants to click on is another. That's why I use AI tools to help me come up with titles and all sorts of other upload details. On a super integrated but more basic level, within YouTube's actual upload screen, Creative Fuel will generate optimized video titles based on select criteria like replicating top videos in your niche, changing the hook, and incorporating impact wording, and more. Personally, I really like this. I even like it more than vidIQ's title suggestion tool because Creative Fuels is more customizable. If you move back to the main Creative Fuel page and go to the videos tab, typing in your new video concept will bring up a whole planning workflow where you can work on your title and then build out your thumbnail, which is the next most important thing to get right. Right off the bat, you'll see inspiration from similar videos made by other creators, as well as some generated design concepts down at the bottom part of the screen. After that, it's up to you to make something in Photoshop that matches your brand, but once you've created it, you you can upload that thumbnail to Creative Fuel and go to the preview page to see if it catches your eye when shown next to other similar videos. I love this application of a thumbnail design tool because it allows me to create a thumbnail that is still uniquely mine, consistent with my brand, but also helps me come up with one that's eye-catching. VidIQ, on the other hand, will go sort of a step further and sort of a step back. I mean, they'll actually generate a full thumbnail for you, and some of them look pretty good but they're not gonna stay consistent with your brand, that's one thing, and they also, I mean, you can kind of tell that they're AI generated, you know? Now on the metadata end, Creative Fuel will generate tags and a description for your video. I actually think that the description is pretty cool because it doesn't just generate something random, it builds on top of what you've already set as your upload defaults. They also have a script outline tool so that you can kind of get an idea of how you'd like to formulate your script. Honestly, I never use this. I mean, maybe I should start, maybe it would make my videos better, but I just generally write my script first before even diving into it. And finally, there's a monetization tab, which will recommend affiliate programs that you may be able to profit from with the video that you're creating. And they'll also suggest potential brands that would be good to work with on this video. This is one of my favorite things about Creative Fuel overall. Very few tools actually help creators monetize their content, and it's a great tool for any creator who just doesn't know where to start beyond just YouTube AdSense. Overall, Creative Fuel gets an 8 out of 10 on the upload side of things. The only ways that I prefer vidIQ here are their tag tool, which I think is just a little bit more fleshed out, a little bit more polished, as well as their integration into YouTube's main system because creative fuel a lot of it happens within the extension whereas with vidIQ it's very much baked into YouTube's set upload process. So which tool is best for you? Well they offer different things and I didn't go super in depth on this comparison but I think that creative fuel shows a ton of promise especially since I already prefer it to vidIQ in a couple of ways. But if you want to learn more about vidIQ and how I use their keyword research tool to create my first viral video ever you should watch this video over here I'll show you how I did it and how you can do it too.